Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from DevDactic. In this tutorial, we will add some OCR functionality to our Ionic app. So we will be able to capture an image from our app and then um, recognize the text within this image using Tesseract. So let's get started. I've created a blank new Ionic app. And first of all, we need to install some NPM dependencies. So we need the Tesseract JS library, we need the Ionic native camera, of course, and we also install the progress bar so we can show some nice little progress feedback to our users. Also, you can add the types for the Tesseract library. Uh, this will help you to get a better code completion within your editor later on. And finally, also add the Cordova plugin for the camera because otherwise we can, of course, not capture any images within our app. So once these three steps are finished, you can go to your app module and first of all, import the camera from add Ionic native camera and add it to your array of providers, just like we always do. Then we also need the progress bar uh, component and this comes from ng progress uh, module, I think. So this should be ngx progress bar core. And then we simply add it to our imports and call for roots. So it is set up for our root module and we can use it everywhere within our app. Now, if you're using uh, iOS, I had some issues in the last time whenever I was using the camera or uh, the photo library and therefore you can go to your config XML and add this nice little block of code. So what this block does is basically um, two parts editing the plist of iOS. So this is a file uh, which describes many things within your iOS app. For example, uh, why the user should accept that you can access the camera or the photo library. And if those strings are not present in the uh, plist, your app won't be uh, submitted to the store. And for me, it also crashed on my simulator or device. So add those, this will automatically merge these strings into your info plist, and then you won't get into um, no trouble so um, do this step, um, which is of course not special to this app, but in general, whenever you use uh, the camera within iOS. So now uh, let's focus on implementing our functionality. And we could start with the home HTML. Let's call this Ionic uh, Tesseract. And let's remove some stuff in here and first of all at the top we want to have our progress bar so with a minimum value of zero maximum value of one this is really a nice component um, works pretty good the only problem is it is hidden uh, on our app because there's still enough bar and this is generally made for angular but we can easily fix this by adding a little CSS rule, ng progress bar, and then for iOS, it was margin top 88. Um, perhaps this is different on Android. You can give it a try and just uh, specify a rule for Android, whatever you need there. Anyway, um, what we need inside our HTML is two buttons. So we need a button ion button full and on click we want to first of all select the source for our image which will present a nice little action sheet so let's call this select image and then we got a second button which will actually call recognize image um, recognize image there was a problem right um, and this button should be disabled until we actually have an image so we can start the recognition. So if we don't have a selected image, we will disable this button. Then let's display the actual image, which is just like before 
the selected image value and this should also only be shown if there is an image and finally we add a card um, ion card header let's call this image text and within this card we will then display uh, what the library thinks is the image text and perhaps only display this card if we got an image text so let's format this and now it looks pretty nice so let's craft our two functions first was select source and the second one was recognize image and save everything so um, to select the source we need an action sheet controller action sheet controller and the import works flawless perfect then we need of course the camera from ionic native camera and finally we might need our um, progress let's do this in a new row so um, let's say I'm not sure if we need public here progress ng progress does this oh, this is also working this seems to be a pretty good day if all my imports are working now for the select source uh, let's craft an action sheet and actually this is pretty boring so let me bring in what we need to do in here so the action sheet comes from the action sheet controller create we got two buttons within the action sheet first is to use the library second is to capture an image and a cancel button and both will call the get picture function so let's add the get picture function and the get picture function will get our if we use if we should use the photo library or the camera so let's add a variable here source type picture source type and also the import is added up here there it is all right now we got this our action sheet should work and now we can use our camera so say this dot camera get picture and now a few options so quality i would say leave this to 100 to get the best result with your our image recognition then the destination type should be in this example the data URL so we will use a base 64 string for the image recognition it also works with a file um, but it also works with a base 64 string and the source type library or um, camera is passed from the function before uh, let's say we want to allow edit um, save to photo album false and correct orientation true uh, fixes some rotation problems I had all right then we get back the image data and this image data is not yet a base 64 string um, and of course we need our selected image which is a string and what did we add i think image text is also a string um, and i should write it like it is supposed to be selected image image text and then set your selected image to the image data but not only the image data um, we need a bit before is this right okay um, to make this a valid space 40 uh, 64 string so let's add data image jpeg um, base 64 comma and then the image data and this will display hopefully nicely as an image within our view later on and once we got this uh, we remember the recognized image function is uh, free to use so at this point we want to use tesseract and for tesseract we first of all need the import uh, doesn't look that nice so 
from no import star as tesseract from right okay pretty nice and now we will also see if we use it we get through the types the create detect recognize functions um, create not really needed um, the text should detect the language of the image or the text inside the image and recognize is to actually recognize the image text and this is what we're gonna do and we will simply pass in our own base64 image string that's all then for the tesseract library sounds crazy but it is and the cool thing now is we can catch a few events so first of all uh, we could catch the progress event and set our progress uh, dot set so this is for the progress bar update to message dot progress so this has a status loaded progress and also we should wrap this um, into if message dot status equals um, I think it was recognizing text so there will be other events and they will also have a progress and your progress bar just will go crazy if you set the progress all the time so it will go like a windows progress bar to 70 percent back to zero and whatever so let's just listen for the recognizing text event and then set our progress what you can do as well of course is a little catch event if some error happens for you so in that case you could add an error log and then at some point you will hopefully get back the result of the image recognition and we will directly use the result dot result dot text so you can see the result contains quite a few things like a line symbols whatever uh, words but text should be the whole text of uh, the image and finally uh, result or error uh, at this point just do uh, whatever you want to do but in here we will set this one to complete so the progress bar then disappears again and makes room for uh, a blank page basically okay so that's it uh, let's go through it again we got the action sheet we display it so we can select either library or capture new image then we will get the image as a base 64 string we will set it to our image and the capturing is finished at this point then we are able to press the button to recognize the image call our tesseract library and recognize with a string uh, subscribe to the progress so we can set our own progress bar and display that something happening and finally when we get the result back we set our image text which is displayed inside the ionic card so to use this with the capturing of course we need to run it on a device so let's check how this looks like all right, so here's the app on my device. Um, I've deployed it to my iPhone. And now I will go ahead and select an image. I want to capture an image and I will try to get this little text. I'll use it, then it is set to our image and then I will hit recognize image. And we see it is pretty fast now. And at the bottom, we can see two lifelong learners, viewers, you're changing the world every day. I think that's the text to 100%, right? Perfect. Um, I've done this before. So if you do this the first time and you won't see anything, it's because in the progress, we're currently catching this event. Perhaps uh, if you're just starting out, remove this. So you can see that actually something is happening, perhaps add some console logs and check them with a message because at the first run, it will download some stuff and this can really take like half a minute, perhaps depending on your connection. But trust me, something is going to happen. And then you can easily add the OCR feature to your Ionic app. So you can uh, check what's written inside an image 
with just the tesseract command and one import so this is pretty easy to implement okay if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to subscribe to my channel um, we're already above 10k subscribers I think so thanks if you are one of them if not make sure to subscribe now and also if you want more ionic courses and in-depth training you can check out the ionicacademy.com for courses projects and a great community to learn everything ionic. I'll catch you inside the next video. Have a great day and take care.